All right, everybody. I'm unsure what I'm going to be doing for a video for this, but I'm going to put in the oil pump up. Mostly all the stuff underneath on the bottom side of the motor, except for the oil pan at this point in time. Um, I'm going to be putting on the oil pump. All right, so we're going to be putting on this oil pump. And where is it? There's a gasket in here somewhere that I came with. Yep, we have two gaskets. Your paper. Alright, so. For. Alright, so going over this, installing this oil pump, I am putting a high volume oil pump on, but with standard pressure. What that means is there's a relief valve. Um, it's probably this right here. That if the pressure gets too great, it will recirculate it back into the pickup. Just so that it, you don't have too high of a oil pressure. And this is, uh, I think, uh, steel gears in here with that aluminum housing, it looks like. So Melling makes a high volume oil pump for this engine, part number M328. The standard volume oil pump is M128. And putting this high volume oil pump on because... Ford has chronic problems with their engines running too low of all oil volume, so the pressure's low. So this thing has a chronic issue of poor oil delivery to the valve shaft rocker arms. So they're the last things that get oil, and it's not that great. Okay, so on these oil pumps, there is where is it? Where's the drive shaft? There's a drive shaft that goes in there and it moves it. This is driven off of the camshaft synchronizer that's at the back of the engine. Um, this I don't remember. Alright, so I want to point out something I just noticed as I was trying to put the oil pump on. If you look at this uh, drive shaft, oil pump drive drive shaft, the ends are slightly different. I don't know if you could see that. Like this has more of a flat end. This have more of a cone end. They're also this is not directly in the center. So if you take a tape measure and measure, this is one and one eighth, and this is three and seven eighths. So the longer end. Four and one eighth and three and seven eighths. This wash is supposed to, if you can kind of see down in there, it's the longer side. This one. Hold it up. And I believe the longer side, the one with the flat end on the drive shaft. If I remember correctly, goes up for the oil pump. Let me grab the bolts and some Loctite. So when we put this on, the drive shaft has to be down in there. Um, yep, the bottom of that sprocket looks flat. So we want the long side. Of right, yep, so you can go down there a little bit more, but it's staying in there. about right. So 
Splined into the oil pump. I believe it's torqued to about 10 to 15 foot pounds. Drive shaft, oil pump drive shaft in. Should always be splined in there when you're upside down like this. And that one collar keeps it from falling out. If you can kind of see. The cone end goes in this side. This is the old camshaft synchronizer. The uh, bushings are blown out. So this thing needs to be replaced. Wasn't getting a camshaft synchro code yet, but with this blown out, it only it's only a matter of time before it takes out the sensor, and it's still a uh, Ford sensor. Oh. Torque, torque. I'm gonna put the windage tray on, and. We'll get the pickup on. All right. So installing the pickup. When you install the high volume oil pump, you have to use Melling's pickup because they are slightly different. Here I have my stock one, and here's the Melling's. Three, four, five S is the part number from Melling. The depth is the same. The pipe diameter I think is a little bit larger, but the biggest difference is is when you look at the screen pickup. The you can kind of see Melling's is a little bit larger, probably for the added volume it's gonna suck up. So they are different. This was fifty bucks, but it's better to use what Melling has designed their high volume oil pump with. So we're going to be doing that. Just a wee bit of a uh, lock tight for these. Again, person that Loctite's every internal bolt. We'll torque it and Loctite it. Got a gasket. And these ones are about the same as the timing ones, about 84 to 108 inch pounds, which is about 7 to 10 foot pounds.
Okay, they're all torqued. Last thing we'll put on is the uh, windage tray. So I honestly can't find a torque spec for these. They use a half inch stock, which roughly a half inch stock. And generally those are, I want to say like 25 foot pounds. What I'll do is I'll, this one I'm actually just going to be guesstimating because I can't find it in my book. Is it the right way? Not really. Is it a way? Yes. Do I care enough? No, it's just a windows tray. I'm going to put Loctite on it too. So if I can get this off. Bruh. So we'll probably do about 25 foot pounds on these due to their size nature. Just uh, ever so slightly dab. All right, so that's probably all I'm going to do for this video in terms of putting together. Um, again, what I do is not technically correct, but I've put a Again, I put together a bunch of motors, and I've done a lot of, like, reality stuff and been able to get away with it. Um, take everything I do with a grain of salt, because er not everything I do necessarily everyone agrees with, but it is a way you can get it done, and generally you can get away with it. For what I'm doing with this motor, I can get away with it. But oil pumps installed, high volume, M, M328 oil pump with the new pickup. Um, it does matter on the uh, drive shaft, the oil pump drive shaft, the longer end is going to go into the pump just because the other side, if you put it in the other way, yeah, it might work, but the problem is it will fall out of the oil pump and you will have to get it back in. So, the way this is right now, the way the oil pump is, this will move back down into it once the uh, camshaft synchronizer is. So, I believe it's the flat end goes in the oil pump, the longer side between the uh, the collar, the stop collar that's down there, but it's all together. We'll pump on, pick up on, torque, 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 torque. Um, other than the oil pan, I'm kind of done with the lower end. I'm going to put the uh, front cover on and synchronizer probably be its own video probably make a short video of this but all right that's majority of the lower end together subscribe for more of my hot garbage or not
and more of my tomfoolery. Alright, see you next time.